Hey everybody, Mike Rommel from Iron Shepherd Forge, uh, back with another project. Uh, this is a cube twist bottle opener. This is half inch square bar. Uh, that groove is going to be about three and a half inches long and it's going to end about an inch and three quarter from the end. I groove all four sides uh, probably a third of the way through the piece. That way I don't cut all the way through it. I use this V-block made of angle iron welded to a piece of plate to support the piece on a 45 so I can cut in the cubes. Uh, I don't really usually measure anymore. I used to measure accurately and cut them on the bandsaw. Uh, I think the uh, eyeballed about a quarter inch is uh, look has a better look to it. Um, I just groove all the way down. It gets a little tougher to uh, do these as they... Uh, as the metal cools off. So what I usually wind up doing is once it starts getting cool I just put a quick chisel mark in so I can mark it and then I'll uh, deepen it on the next heat. And here's that chisel marking. It's easier to index once it's hot because it just slips right in versus trying to see it with that uh, incandescent glow. And here's that next heat. Uh, this will go much quicker than uh, than the original marking. And I just push them in all the way down, right about until they about come to the uh, groove lines. This is the custom part. I'm using hand stamps to chisel in the letters AMRC for Albuquerque Mountain Rescue Council. They're a group of uh, volunteer mountain rescue folks and they help out a lot of people here in Albuquerque and this is a for their annual fundraiser. So now that the main body of the opener is done, I uh, bring it back out and I set down about an inch back over the uh, edge of the anvil. Now I slot punch the hole, I start punching the same way that the set down was made, and then I finish up with it laying flat on the face, and that way I don't damage the uh, end of the opener. Here I'm using a drift and a uh, bolster plate to start that hole getting it opened. Progressively larger drifts and go out to about an inch before I work it over the uh, horn. Here I'm working it over the horn of the anvil. The uh, parent bar is a little long, so I can't really go all the way around, but I just work it from both sides and it didn't seem to make too much of a difference. My touch mark holder from my last video. Using the horn and some glancing blows to uh, set the ring right, so it'll have the right distance from the uh, tab to the uh, top of the bottle cap. using a bob punch to set the tab or the cap catcher or whatever you want to call it. And here's the twist. I go one full twist so that those uh, steps develop nicely and then I straighten out using the vice jaws and then just cut it off and uh, finish it up. Here's a photo from my Instagram of the uh, finished pair of bottle openers. Thanks for tuning in, and if you like this video, please like it, give it some thumbs up, share, and subscribe. Have a good one.